So today I'm shooting a uh, still life of this uh, woodworking plane. I'm going to be shooting it in uh, black and white on uh, 4x5. So I thought I'd uh, document the process and also have a look at um, how the uh, camera movements work to modify the focus. Because there's uh, a couple of techniques I want to use to uh, get this image the way I envisage it. So we'll have a look at that. Uh, I've set a camera up looking at the uh, the ground glass at the back of the camera. So uh, hopefully I'll be able to demonstrate what the front movements allow you to do in terms of image manipulation. So this is all going to be done with uh, natural light and as you can see I've got uh, this uh, lovely light coming in through through the uh, the window in this uh, workshop and it's given me uh, some really nice light falling on the uh, subject so it's perfect for setting up still lifes for this sort of uh, workshop scene. So obviously with a view camera we've got uh, an upside down image that's also reversed horizontally so that can take a little bit of getting used to to start with when you first start using these cameras but you soon get used to it. Now at the moment I've got the focus set on the front of the plane uh, particularly on the handle uh, and you can see we're at an aperture of f4.5 on this on this lens and the depth of field is obviously very shallow. Now what I could do is to um, just stop the lens down to f22 or f32 to get the rest of the plane in focus. Or if I just rack out here, see we've got quite a lot of focus breathing as well. The uh, magnification changes as you alter the focus here. So now I've got the the rear of the plane in focus, but also there's a there's a plane in the background that is also now in focus which I don't really want. So if we go and move the focus back towards the front of the plane that's roughly how I want the background to look in terms of depth of field. Now there's a couple of things I could do here. I can use front tilt and I can also swing the front standard. So what the front tilt will do is to allow near objects and far objects to be in focus along the same horizontal plane. Now it's quite difficult to uh, to sort of describe that but if I if I move the front standard you can actually see that happening so I've now got things in the background that start to become in focus. So the uh, the plane blade is now much sharper than it was but the front of the plane is still quite sharp as well. Now the first thing you notice here is that doing this does not change the focus on our objects that are moving through the image vertically. So now you can see that the the front, uh, the handle of the plane, the base of it is sharp but the top of it isn't. Now this presents a problem with landscape photography because you can't use front tilt to achieve front to back focus if you've got tall trees in the image the tops of the trees will be out of focus at that point so you can use it sparingly uh, but it's not a it's not a complete solution so if I bring the front standard back vertical I'll just set the focus on that handle again. Now the other thing we can do is use uh, front swing which alters the direction that the the lens is pointed in. Pointed in. So we can uh, swing the lens to the left or to the right in comparison to the rear film plane. Now what this will do is achieve focus along a plane travelling across the image from left to right for example so if we have a look at this plane here 
and concentrate on the front corner. Obviously the front corner is in focus roughly. Uh, the rear of the plane is not in focus. But if I twist the front standard Now, the shadows, because I'm moving out of the image circle of the uh, of what this lens is capable of, because I'm twisting the swing in the lens, the front swing in the front standard rather quite a lot. But you can see here, we've got focus going across the length of the plane. Now, again, the problem with this, uh, if I can demonstrate using a, a light for a second, just stick that there, because now we can see that we're we're influencing the the background again. So back to a standard configuration there, the background is completely out of focus. But as I move the front standard, the things in the far background are starting to come into focus. So again, that is going to be a bit distracting for the sort of image I'm trying to create. So in reality, what we need to do is a combination of the two principles. So a little bit of tilt. And just a bit of swing on the standard. So it's going to be something like that. Uh, it's very difficult for me to set it up properly while I've got the uh, the camera recording the ground glass. So what I'll do is uh, spend some time fiddling about with the uh, with the focus and setting the front standard up, and uh, then I'll get on to the uh, metering and taking the image. So an incident reading has given me. A quarter of a second at f5.6 at uh, ISO 125. So I'm just going to set that onto the camera and uh, load the film and take uh, take the image. Okay, I'll just turn the uh, light off. I always like to just do a, a test fire of the shutter just to make sure that the aperture and everything right. That looks good. So the shutter is cocked. Dark slide out and that's the photo taken, put the dark slide back in. And I will go away and get that photo developed, scanned and then uh, just get it edited in Lightroom and then we can have a look at it. So here's the uh, finished image and I'm really pleased with the way this uh, has turned out. And I've got all the elements that I was looking for in this image, the uh, the lovely light, I've got the uh, the background separated nicely from the, the foreground subject and uh, with the aid of those uh, front standard movements I've been able to add quite a dreamy effect to the uh, to the rendering of the of the plane here now if we look a bit closer at the embossed words at the bottom of the plane handle we can see more of the impact of using these uh, lens movements so the base of the plane handle is uh, nicely in focus here but the area immediately off to the left of it falls quite quickly out of focus while on the right of the handle as we can see the the body of the plane leading out left to right of the image the focus follows that uh, that particular dimension across the across the frame, and added to that the little bit of front tilt, 
we were able to keep most of the plain body in focus and but have those background tools uh, still soft so they don't uh, get in the way of the the look of the image now this is not everyone's cup of tea but it's uh, it's exactly the look that I was going for and uh, yeah, I like the image a lot well I hope you enjoyed that peek into the world of large format camera movements if so, remember to leave a like or a comment, and if you want to follow along, please hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to get notified of my latest videos. Once again, thanks very much for watching, and hope to see you again on the next video.